Welcome to Let's Play. My name is Noobs. And Jake. And we're going to play some Skyrim, uh, specifically a mod called Requiem. Uh, Jake here is not very um, savvy with computer games, um, which is going to be awesome because he's just going to die a lot when we play Requiem. Woo! Let's start a new game here. Um, so basically, uh, I just wanted to show off Requiem um, and how difficult it is. It's a great mod. It really is. Um, it's not really supposed to be a difficulty mod. It's supposed to be a uh, a reality like enhancer. Like you know, it's supposed to help immersion. Um, so yeah, pick whatever you want. You're gonna die no matter what race you are. Uh, you're you're so thoughtful and giving me such encouraging words. Yeah. Well, it's true. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's all true. Um, uh, uh, yeah. So, anyway, um, like I was saying, Requiem is basically a um, uh, enhancement mod. It, it's an overhaul mod of the entire game. Um, I, I'm actually, I've cut off a lot of my mods to show you this one in particular, um, except for, as you might already notice, um, in the background we're not getting our heads chopped off here. It is uh, it's because I'm using a mod called Start Another Life. Uh, and it it lets you basically pick your starting destination. Um, there's some interesting ones you can pick, or you can pick random, or you can even pick the normal beginning if you really want to do the same thing you've always done. Um, anyway, um, I really love this mod um, and wanted to show it off. Um, basically, uh, it. Yeah, I mean, I, I can tell you all about it. It's just that there's 140 pages of it online, or whatever, 150 pages. Um, I'll go through it some as we as we go through the let's play, if we if we ever get to it. What are we what are we doing here? I am picking colored paints. Oh, well, that's cool. Everyone's gonna have some paints. It's always good. That um, sets me out from everybody else. Only yep. me has this. Uh, yeah, I'm sure no one else has ever picked that. <laughs> yeah, nobody. Just nobody. me. I am original. Yeah, you make whatever you want to make. It's cool. Um, so anyway, uh, while Jake is new to the computer and new to Requiem, um, he's definitely not new to Skyrim. Oh, no. no. I've played Skyrim before. It's just I hear that the mods are on the computer are pretty uh, uh, unforgiving. Well, yeah, it depends on the mod you're getting. Again, again, um, th this game is supposed to uh, make you really immersed in the game, make it to where you can't just trample every town guard, you can't just run into a room with, you know, ten bandits and expect to live. Like, y you're supposed to think, uh, they, they, they really emphasize strategy. Uh, if you read the manual, uh, they really want you to use your brain. Uh, there's lots of penalties that you have to remember that you can set yourself up for if you're not careful. Uh, there's lots of benefits you have to remember. We'll we'll figure them out as we go through the game. I can't really remember all of them. Like I said, I, I can't remember. I can't recall off the top of my head 150 pages of. It's ridiculous. I like. I love it. I, I remember reading it and thinking, these uh, <laughs> these notes are amazing. These equations. They have like little equations uh, at the. Uh, at the back telling you about like distance of bow damage with sneak attack and like your bow is not going to do as much damage the farther the way they are and they have they have equations for all this stuff it's really really advanced um, but it is really 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 hard at least at the beginning um, uh, and is there a way to zoom it, out? Uh, scroll? I don't know well, you're you're looking at the oh, well. hair so hair selection, so it's well, it's gonna. If you oh, go to yeah. like the body or whatever, you, you have to go. Yeah. You got yeah, it. Yep. See, not used to computer. It's PC master race. Oh, I just defended somebody out there. Um, <laughs> now it, I, I have like eight consoles as well. I just think the computer has some really interesting uh, abilities, for, especially for modders. Um, I'm. Uh, That's good. I love the modders out there, and I'm actually really heavily considering donating to whoever made Requiem, because I, I love it so much. Hmm, what um, to name him? 
Fart face. <laughs> um, no, no, no. No? Samurai Jack. Jake. Samurai okay. Jake. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Why not? There we go. Sweet. <laughs> awesome. Because it's, it's like a play on your name. Yeah. And, and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm Samurai Jack. Awesome. Okay, so Requiem finished doing its thing. It, it's basically telling you that Requiem is, is started up. Oh, okay. All the mods will start loading up now that you've made a character. By the way, I side note, this is this is rambling, but this this room that you're in, it's supposed to be a jail cell. This is a massive jail cell. Like, I would be an honored inmate to have a cell like this. I know you get a table and a chair and a bookshelf and yeah. a statue of Mara. Yeah, I mean statue give or take, I, I don't know. I wouldn't miss it. It's kind of creepy. But, and I actually, I stayed here so long the other day messing around that ghosts actually came to the door and tried to attack me. Like, oh, well, um, so yeah, not gonna do that. Don't, don't do that. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. So, yeah, here's your selection from Start Another Life again. It's also another great mod. I love it. Um, yeah, so you can actually have a house if you want to already. Um, and there's the vanilla start, you know, you can get your head chopped off. Oh look, yep. There's the vin there's the uh, That's what original. I just said, yeah. You don't pay attention to me. It's all right. I I was too busy making my character. I don't mind. I don't have feelings. It's <laughs> not um, my fault. Some of them, like the necromancer one, I'm kind of like, what? What the heck? Like, are you gonna start off just like killing people and raising them from the dead? Like, I I don't know. I haven't tried all of these. You probably really start out in a cave with like necromantic things. Yeah, I've only tried a couple of these. Surprise me. Um, Which one did you try? I'll try something different. Well, um, I did... The most recent one I did uh, was I crashed a ship, um, and that put me up near Dawnstar. Um, I've done the um, Dark Elf one, the town. I can't remember what... what the Dunmer town. Solstheim? Solstheim, that's what it was. I've been there. Yeah. Um, Were you a soldier in the army at all? No. I'll be a soldier in the army. Which I want to be a sword board. Which side of the war are you on? Oh, so you can already be part of the Legion or the or the Rebellion. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Unfortunately, like, I have a mod I usually run, um, and I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's something like Realistic Battles or something, and basically it's the Imperials and Stormcloaks have more, like, run-ins. Like, you'll just be walking around in the wilderness, and all of a sudden there'll be a battle that breaks up between the two of them. And, uh, I turned it off because of, you know, I wanted to show just mostly Requiem. But uh, but that's a really fun one I suggest for anyone out there. We'll, we'll put the mod list that I do have. It's a very skinny list. We'll put it out there on the video description later. I don't care which side I'm on. So oh. be it. May you find glory and fame whoever you support. Chaotic. Oh, you gotta go to bed now and then it'll, you know, start you up. Uh, we are. Go to sleep. I, I like this. I like this loading screen better than the uh, one on the 360 because the 360 is a bunch of mist. This is yeah, actually that's, like fire. That um, that's a mod. I it was part of another mod. Oh, it just hit Return of Skyrim and all this. This is um, for Sounds of Skyrim. It's just an atmospheric type oh. of thing. Um, just add some random sounds. There'll be two more of those. It's kind of annoying. I kind of wish it would just default to yes. Like if I downloaded the mod. Why don't you just turn on? Gets his hand on that. Anyway. Crown. It won't be a fairy tale. Oh, so you're It'll in the Stormcloaks, aren't you? No, you're in the Don't you know it's all... put any stock in I, your own traditions? I don't know why I thought that. I thought it's the all the red chose there. The and, uh, We're backing Elisif. When the definitely moon meets, Imperials. They'll do the Whoa, they look a lot different. Not everyone's agreed. Is that a mod too? You've been here long enough to know um, that you always sensible. I do have we some equipment hearts. mods. So but what? I, I turned most of this around and then suddenly yeah, he's high king. I was like, cause he looks no, nothing not like that thing. guy over there. But the there. jagged crown would be. A General Tolius, I found out, is uh, Saul first, from Battlestar Galactica, and, and that made my day some day a long time ago. In the ago. absence of the moot, it would further. Because <laughs> that show is awesome, <laughs> and Saul's awesome, Perhaps. and so Tolius became more I'm awesome. I'm entrusting you with what resources uh, I can spare. So you do a lot of Imperials. I'm warning you. No, this not necessarily. I kind of mix it up, but I just, time just one day I heard it and I was just like, what? "It won't that be a waste." Gritty voice. I've heard that Make before. Make sure you take the auxiliary here. Uh -huh. You can send him back when you get there and find nothing but old bones and cobwebs. I talk 
Deliver your report to Legate Rika. Uh, what you need to do is you need to go over to that map and just spam the space bar on all those little flags so you discover all the places. On the paper. Uh, I better mark this location on my map. Oh, is it not doing it? By holding on to Don't steal. It, it do not steal. <laughs> you will die immediately. Ulfric will try for it soon. See? Oh! Crap. Uh, no one cared? Oh, drop uh, it. Drop no, it. Just no, drop no. it. Just put it back. Put it back. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh, gosh. You're so oh, like... What? It's, it's probably there. In the, in the, in the, in the thing? Oh, oh, where, yeah. is where is it? 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 Where, where is it? I, I thought it would have been, like, miscellaneous or something. Oh. Uh, I don't have a miscellaneous. No, you don't. What? Okay, it's like you never took it. Well, you know, oh, that's fine too. Thank you, thank you, Which game. Is probably why they're not attacking you. But where did it go? Mysteriously I, I, vanished. I don't know. I'd lucky. rather it mysteriously you, vanish. You got lucky this time, son. Right, <laughs> oh, I'm waiting for this man. game to destroy you. Oh gosh, that was that was about to be real bad. All right, all right. Enough, enough of this map making. Let's do something. Uh, okay. Well, I had to get a like, Oh, a I, know. I know. Welcome to the Legion Auxiliary. Li Welcome to the Legion Auxiliary. You said that. Listen up. Ulfric's right-hand man, Galmar Stonefist, has located what he believes is the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. You don't say. We're going to make sure he doesn't get his hands on it. The rest of my men are already assembling outside Corvinjun. I'll meet you there as soon as I finish up here. Hmm. That's nice. Where's my armor? <laughs> yeah. Uh, a legendary oh. crown dating back to King Harald's time. You or might before, want to pick your A powerful perks. relic of the Golden Age. Or, oh, right. Since past. Well, Legend that's less important than what she's saying. Or more. What she's saying is less important. I, I know what you meant. Yeah. So in, in Requiem, you start off with three perks. And the reason you do is because um, a lot of the talent trees, which by the way you might know that some are different, um, like speech in particular, um, it has actually two branches there, one for the regular speech skills and one for the dragon, uh, like Thum. You can't get it yet, but eventually once you start speaking dragon speech, you will be able to unlock those. Uh, anyway, they're different, but some, some of them like lock picking, um, or, um, or actually a lot of rogue stuff, sneaking, uh, pickpocketing, that kind of stuff, it's impossible it's just it is literally impossible to do without a perk in it like lock picking for instance you can be perfectly on the lock and it will not pick without a perk um smithing you can't get you cannot get the first point in craftsmanship there until you buy the book of smithing from any given smith it's like 230 gold or something like that um and and all the smithing perks are like that like you need Manuals basically of how to smith in order to get the perks. Oh, that's infinitely harder. Yeah. So, any idea of what you're gonna <laughs> take? Um. Well, I want to be able to block, but I want to do a lot of damage. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna do sword and board. So. Sword and board. All right. Oh yeah, martial arts is if you just wanted to punch people. Oh. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, he made it a little more um, accessible, but. I don't. I don't That's really think it's supposed to be a primary thing. I think it's supposed to be like, if you get disarmed, you have something, um, because you can get disarmed in this game. No, no disarming. Uh, so you got one handed. That's good. You need your block. Yep, definitely. Are you gonna save your last for armor smithing when you get it, or do you? Yeah, wanna... I'm thinking about doing that. Okay. I might put it in heavy armor. Or in the armor, yeah. Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to put it in heavy armor. Yeah, if you're going to wear heavy armor, you need to put it in there, or you will just constantly lose stamina, like, for no reason. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, we, we won't do that. But yeah, the so now, made from the now you only lose a ton of stamina when you walk. Dragons, and oh, set to goody. Increase the power of the wearer. Books. I wonder if there's any books that will help my stuff. Um, so yeah, one of the... It's, heavy armor is a difficult thing in this game. No orders for the soldiers, um, it, it makes you sure really powerful um, in certain Sir. aspects, like arrows. Uh, you have great protection against arrows, um, and you can take a few hits. But it slows you down a lot. Your fatigue drains a lot faster, etc. Spell casting is just nearly impossible until you start taking perks that allow you to cast in heavy armor. Um, but fortunately for you, it's only going to be combat. 
So you should be okay with what you got. Wow, I can't carry very much, huh? Oh, yeah, okay. So uh, I'm going to change that. Uh, so yeah, you can pick your weapon, and if you hit F while you're over a weapon, it'll favorite it, so you can quick menu it. Yeah, I have no shield. Yeah, you might want to you might want to equip your weapon there too. Also, um, if you go to your spells, I don't know if you have any like special dailies. Like searches uh, for like if you have a horse, you can search saddlebags. It's a oh. it's a mod. Uh, and then you've got tongue's trance. You can enter a trance that allows you to use your thum again and again in a rapid succession. However, this is extremely exhausting, therefore it lasts only shortly. It can only be used once every day. Hooray, but you have no thum to use it on, so that's uh, totally worthless right now. Oh, but I got Nordic Fortitude. I resist frost and shock. Yeah, and if you noticed, it doesn't tell you how much, I don't think. Uh, it says it oh, has. It does, it does it have, okay. It has all so here damage it does. from... If you look at like the perks, um, you know, like for instance, one-handed. In the old game, it would say something like, "Oh, all your damage with one-handed increases by twenty percent or whatever." Yeah. It won't tell you that in, in, in Requiem. It it oh. obscures all the numbers because it doesn't want you thinking about how to min-max your character. It wants you to think, "What would my character have?" Oh, one-handed. Obviously, I'm going to take some one-handed perks. That sounds good. I'm a region. Why is it stealing? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Um, yeah, you're gonna have a hard time at the beginning here. You... I don't buy the fancy clothes, but you look like you might. I like how the I guards have specialized armor. Selection. Hmm. You know what you need to do? You need to save your game. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna, so, you can save it like this, which is fine. You can go new save. Uh, you can also quick save it by hitting F5. Um, just in case you didn't want to. And, and, like, it, it kind of freezes there for a second. Oh, uh, okay. But. While it saves. Alright, uh, don't want to go there. I want to go the other boy that has the blacksmith. Maybe he'll give me armor since I'm a legion now. I doubt it, but we'll try. I can hope. Yep. <laughs> I really don't want to go into battle with clothes. Get on with it. Why not? Wanderer like you must have plenty of tales to tell. But I'm afraid I'm too busy to hear. A warrior, not a bard. I've been waiting for Rogfear's execution. Talk to me later. Okay. All right. So I guess I gotta go look at the execution now. Yeah. Maybe it'll be like every other game these days, and you'll go witness the execution, and it'll be like, congratulations, you witnessed something. Here, have an epic item for no reason. That'd be nice. It won't happen. <laughs> I know, but it'd still be nice. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim. And all lords! <laughs> On this day, I go to Sovngarde. That is a nice place. Yeah. Or halberd, or whatever it is. I guess. It's I guess it would be actually a halberd, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know my medieval weapons as well as I should. Nah, I think Alberts usually have that spike on top. Right. A little spear tip. Yeah. And now they're staring at me as like, you want to be next? No. Go loot the body. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing there. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Jump. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you can search his body. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, look at the freaking amulet chalice. I mean, it's not, you can't use it really, but you could sell it maybe. Oh, yeah, it's not Don't stealing. Don't naked. I mean, that's just weird. Yeah, not doing that. Yeah. Pull out the amulet of Talos. 100 gold. Sell. You go sell it. Go sell it. I'm All sure right. you'll get 100 gold for it. <laughs> I'm sure you will. You sh you're sure I am. Yeah. Why do I not believe you? <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about bartering. <laughs> uh, that I put no points this, into. <laughs> this game, it's, it's, it's just funny to me because, like, I don't know. I, I've played old games, and I like difficult. I like a challenge. Um, this game is made for old codgers who played like the oldest games on DOS back in the day, and it's supposed to be like oh, unforgiving. You said you got here just before Completely the unforgiving. execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. I'm not that old, but take a look. Oh yeah, it was okay, a lovely so first sight. Okay, so if you, uh, if you uh, go to your 
Samurai Jake. Let's see how much that uh, that amulet is. Oh, can you not sell it to her? Dang it. I thought I, I thought I could. Like, isn't she a, a like an everything vendor? I don't know, Jake. I do not know. Let me see. Yeah, she's an everything vendor. Well, did it does it qualify as stolen even though you didn't really steal it? Good question. Let me find out. It'll say if it's yeah, stolen. Yeah, you'll have right? the little hand by it. No, it doesn't. No, mm -mm. Well, you can't sell it, so you might as well just keep it for whenever you need it. Oh, the weight Come thing. Back to here, hit, hit escape real quick. Here, I'll fix this up quick, fast, in a hurry for you. Um, oh, no. no. Yeah, mod configuration. Um, so, this is like the one thing that I can't stand in Requiem. Uh, a lot of people actually don't like it. Um, uh, I just can't remember. Yeah. Um, I think it's derived attributes. Yeah. But anyway, it the um, the amount of carrying capacity that they give you is absolutely terrible. Um, and so I like to do, I, I, I try not to cheat too much. I don't want to give myself just, I don't want to make myself a Hulk, but an extra 50 pounds never hurt anybody. Um, and so now, I mean, you won't be able to just carry everything out of your dungeon, but you know, 178 pounds is nothing to scoff at, so. Yeah. I and mean, you are a soldier, so you were meant to like Yeah, wear heavy weight. plate mail and stuff, yeah. right. So. I mean firefighters wear 120 pounds worth of gear or whatever and they can still carry a child out a window and stuff like I think you can you know you're a hero in this game you should be able to carry a little bit more but uh, yeah no no no, <laughs> no, no, no no stealing no 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 I mean you can I guess I'm I'm just the I'm j I'm, I'm not the referee or anything no nope, no nope. I'm an army man nope. I'm, I'm an honorable guy but I am going to go back up to the blacksmith now that the execution's over with and see what he says. Good call. Armor is good. Maybe he has some like armor and stuff lying around that you can take. I don't know. He died well, right. usually like in the console games, like when you joined a Traitor, faction right or something, they, they give you like a set. Yeah, they give you like a set of armor, mm -hmm. basic armor. A traitor right up to the end. A traitor okay. right. You got any like lying around there? What do you got? Be careful. No, no, no. Okay. Um, I'm not going. Did you talk to, to everybody in the in the place? No, like, I didn't. But I'm going to now. Yeah, I would do that. I feel like, like maybe there's like here. Take this to the black. Not this is not going to have it for you. Getting married soon. The reception would be public. I'm talking about like the main people, or just looking around yeah. in the barracks. Maybe in the barracks you can find a suit. Because you're going to need it. You really yeah. will. I would like to not have to leave solitude in nothing but clothes. Th those don't tend to, you know, stop arrows very well. Right. Toys is like, no. I'm I believe the legged gave you an order. Why are you standing around here? Your jaw. Move out. How about you give me the you know, armor to do my job? That'd be nice. Can't wait to kill another of Ulfric's boys. I oh, bet. That's, that's, that's a little a... rough. Can't wait to get my armor so I can do stuff without having to fear dying in my Okay, well, well, what do we got here? Looks like, uh, like there's some stuff back there. What do we yeah, got? Oh, it's, it's all, all steely. Ah, oh, man. Look, a bag of gold. Oh, That's no. steely. I guess you're just going to have to go out there and fight with the sword until you get some armor. Oh, that'll go over well. Yeah. It wouldn't be so bad if I could at least talk to the blacksmith and try to maybe get armor, but it's it's not even letting me, right? you know, go into, like, any form of buy and yeah, sell. Yeah, that, that is weird. Um, I'm not terribly familiar with Solitude, but is there, like, another blacksmith you can talk no, to? No, that is the blacksmith for the Legion. Well, for the Legion, right, but I mean... Well, no, I mean, that is the blacksmith. Okay. Like, um, he is the blacksmith for the Legion, but that's the blacksmith of Solitude. Oh, well, sucks to be you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Photo confidence is reassuring. A bunch of solitude guards for this being a Legion outpost. Or headquarters. Let me yeah. guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Oh, someone oh. stole your sweet roll. I don't know why it sounds like 
Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> uh, maybe he'll talk to you now. Yeah, there you go. Yay! Yes! Said you'd get me outfitted. Yeah. There you go. I, just have one I don't know why he was you. being so close lipped earlier. Light, medium, or heavy? Light, Close mouth, medium, tight lipped, I don't know. My idioms. Um, well, you're heavy, right? Yep. They I'm don't heavy. make finer steel anywhere else. <laughs> if this doesn't keep you from dying, nothing will. <laughs> now that's it. One free outfit per soldier. You lose that, or get it banged up. You'll need to pay like everyone else. Okay. Cool. Um, Sweet. So I'm gonna... Yep. Outfit yourself. Let's take a look at you once you get all done here. Yeah. Alright. Dump your trash. Yes. Oh. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's R. Uh, just hover over it and do R? Yep. Okay. It is value. It has some value. Oh, More actually, value yeah, it was. does. I mean, you can sell it for a few gold. You might as well sell My it to him. Forge never rests. Wanderer like you, hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Uh, we're not. Holy crap! Yeah, yeah. Like again, like I was saying, bartering um, in this game. So, in regular Six. Skyrim, what? at least. I felt this way, I don't know about anyone else, but I felt it was way too easy to get money in that game. Like, I, I could just get thousands of I can't of gold. sell my clothes. Oh. Oh, I have to go to the everything Yeah, you've got everything merchant, yeah. Um, well, let's see what I can buy. Oh, what can I buy? How so much gold do I have? Not any. Well, oh, I have 417. Well, That's what, what not weapon bad. do you have? You had a, I just uh, got an imperial, imperial sword. Imperial sword, so yeah. a steel sword probably better. I don't know. Uh, actually, a steel sword and imperial sword should be about the same. You can check it out. So, what, what's the steel so sword? Is fifty-eight. What's the imperial sword? Fifty-eight. Okay. Yep. So you're probably well off there, unless you want to get a big old weapon. But you're more sword and board, right? Yeah, so. I'm doing sword and board, so okay. I'm, I'm good with this. Um, you can, yeah, if you, just, you can click damage up there to sort by damage. This is a, a mod called where? Uh, right where the the D A M, the dam. Hit the dam. Oh, oh, um, that. Yeah. So, it, so that's wow. your best. That's your best weapons. Uh, it looks like your best one-handed weapon is gonna be the dwarven war axe, which, you know, it's too expensive anyway. Or the steel mace. Actually, steel mace is not a bad call. Steel mace. Um, down here. It's not bad. Seventy-two. But uh, it depends. You know, you it still swings. Have the, it swings slower than a right, sword. Right. You still have your same Skyrim rules there, where you got the swing speeds. However, in this game. Um, the different types of weapons do different things. Uh, if you get hit with a bludgeoning weapon, your armor will take more of a hit, um, and you know, so on, like piercing and slashing and whatever. Wait, wait, wait. What? Yeah. So like. I was not listening. What did you just say? Bludgeoning weapons in this game, they will break your armor and stuff. Wait. Faster. We have we have durability. Um, it's not durability. It's just like. So, when they attack you, uh -huh. you, you could just lose, like, if you attack, like, an archer, you can just break his bow. You can just smash it with a bludgeoning weapon. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, you'd be like, oh, you're screwed. Like, sorry, you lost your bow. Um, Holy crap. Things like that. And so, and, but, but bludgeoning also gets and around your arm. heavier armor more. So, basically, you know, you're smacking a big tin can. So, this is our... I should have been an Imperial, it would have made more sense, but, oh well. So this is our Nord uh, you're looking pretty good. Engineer. I mean, you got that intimidation factor going on there. Not bad. Wouldn't want to mess with you, I'm pretty sure. Alright, go That's sell okay. your clothes here and we'll, 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 we'll put a stop here for the beginning. We'll set out here for our first quest. I notice I'm moving much slower now. Yeah, and also your stamina is draining. Oh, just by walking. that's nice. Yeah, it would be draining just by standing if you didn't have that perk. <laughs> like, literally. I'm glad I got that perk now. Yeah. <laughs> and some people might think, well, as stamina, who, who cares about stamina? It's the wor most worthless stat in this game. No. Yeah, not in Requiem. Not in Requiem. It, um, if you. So in Requiem, if, if you uh, run out of stamina, your attacks are crap. Um, and also, if you block, it drains your stamina. What? 
Oh, yeah. It was 10, 15, 10. Yeah, that's... Hey, at least you're getting something. <laughs> I guess. Jeez. Uh, yeah, you, you might as well sell food. that trash. Like, it'll give you stamina if you need it, I guess. Um, stamina? You I, th you, I thought it gave you health. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. They changed it on that? They changed it on the mod, too? Well... What is this? I'm not terribly sure. Oh, that don't worry about that. It's just, it's a mod um, for uh, shooting stars, and there's like, uh, there's like lunar events that happen. And, oh, so yeah. stuff I don't want to deal with right stuff now. Stuff it doesn't matter. Okay, well, I guess I got two gold at least. Anytime. More beautification mod for each. I really am obsessed with making the game look better. <laughs> but it must be pretty. Yeah, you probably notice a lot of these mods like. Oh, although I don't some of them don't seem to be. But you look like you might. I hear I think maybe. Raymond says a lot I'll have to look at that later. Well, at least my mod tool updated and it kind of screwed itself up. So I don't know. We'll see. Well, all right. To the wild blue yonder. Yep. I'll pick it up from there next time. Uh, this is uh, Noobs signing off. Bye, everybody.